So number one, what is the number one? I know that's what everybody be saying. You can tell me the number one. Yes, I'm here to tell you the number one, okay? So chill. So number one, Hi ladies and gents, how are you all doing? So today, I want to fully welcome you all into my channel. Come in, come in, come in. If you are new and old subscribers, please come in. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's a girl, Nature Bibian. Today we are going to be normal because obviously God's children are always normal right but you serve our god like we don't know what we are doing right so please welcome welcome to my channel it's a girl nature bibian as i said if you're an old a uh, new subscriber welcome 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 please the new ones don't forget to subscribe to my channel i know it's been a while that i have not posted things you know i've not posted video on this channel i've been trying to do one or two things trying to put myself in order put myself together you know every day is not for the hmm? Most days you, mm, but most times we, you know, we, we, we trust in our God. We trust in Jesus Christ and everything is going so perfectly well for us. So please, <laughs> so don't laugh about this. This are, these are my natural hairs. And yeah, I feel so good being on natural hairs and not always on wigs. So today I'm just trying to show you my real self. You they hear me? You they hear me? Bah, uh -huh. So today I want to talk about... You know five mistakes that we do that might lead us to hell and i know obviously that's not where you want to I mean, that's not where you want to go you get it's not anywhere that anybody wants to go even with our ignorance and everything that's not where you want to go especially especially if you're a christian or you're a non-christian but you really want to understand what this hell looks like hell is bad it's not somewhere you want to be it's not somewhere like it's not somewhere you want to be. Let's just put it that way. Because you are going to suffer for eternity. You're, like, it's as if you have your body, your flesh, your spirit, your soul, and you are burning in fire. Like, you are consumed by everything that you have done in this earth. And that is not something that you want for yourself. Yeah. So, that's why I'm here. I'm going to tell you five mistakes that we have been doing that we think that is normal, but it's not normal. It's obviously something that's going to lead us to hellfire. Okay? So... And I know all of you will be like, how? If I tell you number one, you'll be like, how, Bibian? How is this a sin? But I promise you, when I'm through telling you these five mistakes that we have normalized, you are going to see reasons because I'm going to post, um, I'm going to post scriptures by the end of the video so you can go through those scriptures and understand better for yourself. You get? So number one, what is the number one? I know that's what everybody will be saying. Bibian, tell me the number one. Yes, I'm here to tell you the number one, okay? So chill. So number one is going to clubs. Hey, <laughs> people like, Vivian, what is this? Are you trying to spoil my swag for me? Are you trying to tell me that going to club is a sin? My dear, obviously. Because you tell you, you, you said that you're a Christian. And then you you go to club. Like, why are you going to club? Let's just tell ourselves, let's ask ourselves this question. Like, why do we go to clubs? And when we go to clubs, what do we see in clubs? Is this something that a Christian should see? Like, you go to clubs, you caress yourself in clubs, you get drunk, you go there for you to be admired. Some people go there for them to come flaunt their wealth. What is what is good about you going to club? Like, that is one thing you need to sit down today and ask yourself. What is the good thing about you going to cl club? If you cannot answer one good reason that can actually like take you to heaven, like one good reason, let's just forget about heaven and hell for now. Like, give me one good reason why you go to clubs. People that go to clubs are people that that are that are not sane enough. Like people that go through stuff, so they want to go where there's noise. They want to go to strip clubs. They want to do these activities, this ugly activity, to feel like they are they are among. But at the end of the day, they feel so empty. They feel so lost. So why are you going to club? I will urge you that. I'm going to give you a scripture by the end of this video so just stick around by the end of this video so you understand how club actually like destroys you like it's in the bible okay so don't hold me accountable our daddy jesus said it okay <laughs> so number two what do we have to say in number two number two is having sexual thoughts about someone else like you know a lot of people like mm, but it just comes like mm, bro bro you know that girl that you have all you are always eyeing that she has big bonbons and you cannot wait to knock her yeah it's the same 
you are committing adultery committing adultery doesn't mean when you cheat on someone it means when you are cheating on your head like you are like you are trying to say like why are you trying to cheat god knows your thoughts god knows your heart so you cannot hide away from all these things you can maybe you can hide it from someone but you can't hide it from god god sees your thoughts god sees you so trust me when i tell you that these things are not something that that you need to take in like you need to start working on the way you view women and women as well that will see men they'll be like oh my gosh she has the body i want him to you know you start having sexual thoughts about these men or these women trust me you're not going to make heaven it's in the bible like it's so clear in the bible so you're not going to make heaven so and number three is kissing before my marriage a lot of people like even it's just kissing yeah if you know those things that can lead you to having sex before marriage then you need to avoid them you get you know those french kisses that you do yeah they're not good just those things that will make you maybe be like no you're just kissing but most times you start having those thoughts of having sex having sex having sex so those things that are going to lead you to having sex those french kisses that you do stop it there's nothing wrong with him kissing you on the hand him kissing you on the forehead him kissing you pecking you on the cheek pecking you here pecking you on the lips there's nothing wrong with pecks you get but going to extreme because you know intense kissing can can you know lead to a lot of things it can lead to you know both of you touching each other then like touching each other is also a sin anything that will just lead you that will make you feel in that mood when you know that you're not married it's a sin so you need to stop it sis and you need to stop it bro okay so what's the number four number four is premarital sex you know as i'm as i was saying like about the kissing part so prema premarital sex is don't do it <laughs> but i know a lot of us have indulged ourselves in sex before marriage and it's cool like it's not cool at all <laughs> don't mind me so it's not cool at all but do you know the do you know the sweet part of all this and there's, there's no sin that's too big or too small for god to forgive like you need to acknowledge that the sex that you did before you married the, the whosoever that you are marrying is a sin and also if you're still a young girl or a young guy out there and you are trying to like navigate like your sexual life and everything trust me sex before marriage is not something that you're going to use and navigate your life there's a lot of things that you can just end up think about like you know making mama proud making yourself proud think about how to establish yourself think about this live sex you are too young to be having sex when you now feel like oh that you cannot hold yourself then please bro please girl go and marry it is in the bible go and marry. if you cannot hold yourself um before marriage go and marry and please if you're no longer a virgin please don't eat up yourself there's still hope for you god will forgive you there's still hope so don't lose hope go back and carry down your hope God will still forgive you. There's no sin that's too big and too small for God. But the thing there is for you to acknowledge that what you have been doing, they are all sins. So yeah, things will be added unto you, okay? Yeah, that's how Jesus works. Jesus is so sweet. Just, just acknowledge that what you have been doing is wrong. Pray for the Holy Spirit to guide you and your life will be so smooth. Isn't this man a good man? You're a good man, Jesus. You, you are. He is a good man, right? Yeah. So number five is not being forgiven like a lot of people you know you have not forgiven your ex for how he treated you you have not forgiven your parents for the way they treated you, you have not forgiven your friends the way they treated you there are a lot of people strangers enemies everybody they have not forgiven because of the way they treated you in the past i'm here to tell you that if you are seeking forgiveness from god jesus you must first of all be forgiven you must be willing to forgive jesus cannot forgive you you cannot come to Jesus and be like god forgive me i want to stop this forgive me for this thing forgive me he will not he won't forgive you as long as you have not forgiven someone else that your heart is so is so hard that it can't be pierced like you are not forgiven at all like you don't want to forgive them like you feel like they did so like you, they did something so bad but at the end of the day you are asking god for forgiveness like how do you expect him to forgive you of your sins when you have not forgiven someone else it doesn't matter if those people like they earn your forgiveness or not it doesn't matter free your mind because you cannot accept jesus in your life with you having like this congested heart you must be free jesus brings in peace so you must be free you must let go of all these things you must give your bodies to jesus you see most times i remember a friend of mine and this is story time again i remember a friend of mine that asked me one day bibian for me to for me to you know 
um, start um, praying to Jesus and for me to start bringing myself to Jesus that I must have money. Like if I have money, uh -huh, then I'll bring. I'm like, wow, wow. See what someone is saying that like, you must have money before you 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 pray to your creator, someone that created you. You never know when you will die. You, maybe in, in, the, in, in the midst of trying to gather this money, you die. Where will you go? You just go straight to hell because you do not bring God closer. Abraham was like Abraham was is a father of all nations. He was God's best friend. Like he was so close to God. Why? Because he sacrificed. And Abraham, upon knowing God, upon doing the will of God, upon believing in him, hoping in God, he was one of the richest. Abraham has the sheep, he has a land. What does Abraham didn't lack anything? And there's a place in the scripture where it says that when you believe in Jesus Christ, when you trust in Jesus Christ, every other thing will be added unto you. I've never seen someone that's in, that in Jesus Christ that, that, that doesn't have anything. Like, if God knows that being like a billionaire is going to make you deviate from him, he's not going to make you a billionaire. But trust me, you are never going to lack when you have Jesus. You will never lack. You will never lack. I always tell people that. I'm like, I'm like, you don't trust Jesus enough. That's what you're trying to say. You don't trust this man enough. You cannot do this life on your own. You cannot. For you to be rich the way, like the way Jesus wants it, you need to first of all bring him in. Jesus gives protection. He gives guidance. Like he gives riches. If that money that you say that is not, is, that you don't have, that, 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 Jesus gives it. But that's not the only riches. Jesus gives peace. He forgives you. He guides you. He protects you. He blesses you abundantly. What is it that Jesus can give you? So trust me when you are out there, everybody out there, and you are watching me, I want you to know that Jesus Christ can give. Jesus Christ has everything. He's the Son of God. He's the God Himself. He has everything. Pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit to be given unto you so that you can be able to communicate well with Jesus. So that you will be able so that you'll be able to communicate well with our Lord and our personal Savior. Trust me, as, and as I was saying in this video, these five mistakes that we have been doing and we think that, oh, that they are right, we have normalized it. There's a lot that I would have said, but I said, no, today it needs to be five. Okay? It must be five. So because this five is what I've been seeing and everybody's like normalizing it now. And I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah. And you see them at the end of the day, they'll come and post in their status. God did. You see someone that's in club, the person will come and post, God did. God, like, how, you guys don't fear your God. And that is the, man, stop, stop allowing devil to use you to mock your creator. I'm telling you, like, how you are going to suffer, you are going to enjoy anything you are going to enjoy now, but at the last day when you die, like, will you carry that your wishes to hell? Nah. Neither will you carry your wishes to heaven. Or neither will even a poor person carry their poorness to heaven or hell. You get so, trust me, it's time for you to come clean. It's time for you to be pure in mind. Try to read your Bible. It helps along with, because a lot of us, especially Catholics and some churches, we are not used to reading our Bible. I will urge you to try and open that book of life. Open that book of life and read, because Jesus is about to talk to you today. You get, and don't normalize this. They are not normal. That is not something that someone that said that wants to go to heaven indulging except if you say you don't want to go to heaven you get so it's all on you okay it's all on you jesus has given us the, the chance to you know choose whatever that you want to choose choose the good choose the bad it's all on you you have the choice you get but it's it won't be a good thing if i never told you because a lot of people don't know so i have to <laughs> i have to tell you my brother i have to tell you my sister so besties to we'll see you again please don't forget to share this video because i know there's someone out there that wants to hear this but they don't know how to so try and share this to them and please subscribe like this video so it can reach more people because if you don't like this video there's no how youtube is going to give out my videos or maybe put my video out there for people to see so please don't forget to like my video I love you so much, but know that Jesus loves you more. It's time for you to give your life to Christ. And before that, 